Hey guys, I'm Gerardo from NVIDIA and I'm excited to share with you today our updated streaming technology. We know that starting a stream isn't easy, so we set out on a mission to change that. We're so excited about all of the improvements we've made with the touring architecture, and I'm here to break down all of the benefits of broadcasting with GeForce RTX. You can't talk about streaming without first tackling encoding. When you record or stream your gameplay, you take the frames coming out of your GPU and compress them into a smaller format. This is called encoding. It saves space, but also decreases quality. There are two types of encoders, software and hardware encoders. Software encoders, such as X264, run on top of your CPU, and the quality they output depends on how much CPU you dedicate to encoding. This means that your game and stream have to share the CPU, so you lose FPS in-game and have to limit the quality you output. Hardware encoders run on a separate piece of hardware, decreasing the load on your CPU and GPU to run the game. At NVIDIA, we developed the NVIDIA Encoder, or MVENC for short, a dedicated hardware encoder running on an independent section of our GeForce GPUs. We introduced it a while back with the GeForce GTX 600 series, and we have been improving it since then. NVENC takes the load off your CPU, lifting a massive strain from your system. This, in turn, ensures that your GPU is in bottlenecked, giving you better game performance because the CPU and the render cores of the GPU can focus on running the game. In the latest generation of GPUs, we included the Turing MVENC in the RTX 20 series, the GTX 1660 Ti, and the GTX 1660, which packs a major upgrade to boost your image quality. The new Turing MVENC is 15% more efficient than previous generations. For you as a streamer, this means that your stream quality will increase as if you were using 15% more bitrate without having to change anything. We also included advanced encoding features, such as multi-frame reference and rate distortion optimization, that optimize the use of bitrate to reduce encoding errors, so your image will look cleaner and sharper. Thanks to all of these updates, the Turing MVENC can output quality similar to X264 Medium, a preset so advanced that it typically requires two PCs to be run. You can see how overall quality is on par, but if you take a closer look, textures have more detail and text is sharper and easier to read on MVENC. And for those of you interested in content creation, MVENC is capable of streaming and recording at 4K, something that even dual PCs struggle with. We've also been working with the most popular streaming apps, such as OBS and XBIT, to help optimize their software for GeForce GPUs. The new updates bring a lot of performance improvements that reduce the FPS impact up to 66% and offer exclusive new quality settings to push the quality of your stream even further. Discord, the most popular chat and voice app amongst gamers, is now also optimized for MVENC, so you can share your screen in your channels and with your friends at the best quality. You can start using MVENC in your favorite streaming apps by going to Settings and selecting MVENC as your default encoder. Be sure to also check out our Turing-based laptops so you can stream on the go. We hope you enjoyed this quick overview. Thank you for watching and see you on stream.